me, if you think about the key reasons for ending this economic invisibility, um, I'd see them as five different reasons. Firstly, that the sheer size and scale of the losses to human welfare as a result of the loss of ecosystems and biodiversity are too significant to ignore anymore. We're talking about trillions of dollars of natural capital uh, per year being wiped out as a result of business as usual, as a result of the pace of losses. So if the society that is making this decision is you and me, like we are fairly well-to-do people, we can afford to look after our children. I would find it very difficult to justify this as an ethical choice to my two daughters, as in, uh, well, you know, I'm just changing off your children's future at one-seventh of what it is today. But if our society were a poor community, we, and we don't know where our next meal comes from, then it is important for us to be fed in order to maintain our children, never mind their children. So then we might apply the opposite logic, as in a high discount rate to the future, because what's coming to us today from nature is worth a lot more to our society compared to what may come to us, the same thing, in 50 years' time. So we would have a different ethical perspective on that, more important to feed me and my babies now as against worry about their children in 50 years' time. These are ethical choices. They're complex societal ethical choices. And we have to recognize these when we undertake valuation and make use of discount rates.